In next two sessions, we will create this program. Control F5. Through next two sessions, we will create this program. If you click up arrow key, then it would be magnified. If you press down arrow key, it will get smaller. To create this program, I use two books. I will close it. First off, I used OpenGL Programming Guide 9th edition, also OpenGL4 Shading Language Cookbook 3rd edition. To create this program, I referenced two books. I found some errors in this book. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. In this book, OpenGL Programming Guide, 9th edition, I will discuss Chapter 5, Viewing. Viewing model, camera model, orthographic viewing model, user transformation, OpenGL transformation, etc. in the near future. So for the time being, just accept matrix manipulation for OpenGL. In this episode, I will emphasize the buffer song, the vertex array song once again. Once you remember these two songs, you can never fail to learn OpenGL programming. In this episode, we will learn name the buffer sub data. This function can be very useful. Also, I assume you have watched it two of my previous videos, especially episode 91, OpenGL Rotating Cube 1, OpenGL Rotating Cube 2. If you haven't watched it and tried to create triangle strips and vertex indices by yourself, you may not be able to understand my current and future sessions. Show more. If you scroll down, you can find download the source code, episode 92.
please double click it. If it doesn't work, right click, save link as, then save the source code. Keep. We will use some source code from this project. Now open up Visual Studio. Go to File, New, Project. Select OpenGL Programming Guide 9th Edition. Click Next. Solution name 105. Open GL Songs. Click Create. Press Ctrl F5. You should be able to build and run successfully. Now close it. Close it. From the Solution Explorer, right-click Shader Files, Add New Item. Select Utility, Text File, File name will be Cube. Dot VERT. Add one more file. Add a new item. Cube track. So we have two shade of files. This is vertex shader. Version 450 core. I would copy this and paste it here. This is fragment shader. Save all. In the vertex shader, uniform metal. Model Matrix Uniform Mat Pole Projection Matrix I made typo here in back pole position in back for color out back for vs color copy this paste it here change it in out back for color for the main color vs color so our fragment shader is pretty simple now save all we can close it in the vertex shader for the main map transform projection matrix times mother matrix GL position transform Times the position vs color color now save all we will open source.cpp I will arrange side by side 
Have or hide. In this file, we can find initialize function. Here, shader info shader info. It is array. Don't miss semicolon here. GL vertex shader cube dot but copy paste paste this is gl fragment shader cube prep this is gl non null delete trailing comma in the private section gl name t program initialized to zero now this program load shaders we provide shader Info here GL use program this program check GL operation build to build shader program. Now press Ctrl F7 to test the build. So we built successfully. Now here again gl int I will copy this copy paste. So model matrix index initialized to negative one GL int projection matrix index initialized to negative one GL int position index initialized to negative one gl int color index initialized to negative one now here this model matrix index GL get uniform location this program we pass model matrix as a string copy paste projection matrix index here projection matrix this position index gl get attrib location this program we pass position as a string this color index gl get attrib location this 
program pass color as string. Now press Ctrl F7 to build or compile. So we built successfully. Now we downloaded this source code in the restart primitive open programming guide. CPP file from this we will copy from here up to this point. Copy, paste it here. Please note that we created this code from our previous episode. We have vertex position. We have eight vertices. We have vertex colors. We have eight colors. We have 17 indices, vertex indices. These forms triangle, strip, one, triangle, strip, two. So if you haven't watched it, my previous video, episode 91, 92, you may not understand what these things means. Now scroll up. In the private section here, GL name T V A O vertex array object GL name T vertex buffer object vertex buffer object we will create one more buffer object GL name T E B O or element buffer object so we use one vertex array object and two buffer object one is vertex buffer object the other is element buffer object. We are using multiple buffer object. Now scroll down. Here again. If you listen to me and mark my words Carefully, you cannot fail to learn OpenGL programming, and you can never forget your hard learned OpenGL programming. I mean, if you mark my words, you can learn OpenGL programming and you can never forget your hard learned OpenGL programming. We need two songs. Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. GL create 
input text arrays size in means count one this vertex array object gl find the vertex array this vertex array object enable vertex at trip array gl enable vertex attrib array we have two vertex attribute these are vertex attribute array so we enable this position index gl enable vertex attrib array this color index let me sing vertex song once again Create vertex arrays. Find the vertex array. Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer. I will discuss this part shortly. Now we need buffer song. Create buffers named the buffer stories. Bind the buffer to its target. Once again, create buffers named the buffer stories. Bind the buffer to its target. GL create buffers. We create one buffer. This vertex buffer object. We created one buffer. Create buffers named buffer storage. GL named buffer storage. The first is buffer. This vertex buffer object then follows size this is byte count please understand that we have to hold vertex position and the vertex color so the size should be size of vertex position plus size of vertex colors okay we need enough space for vertex position and the vertex color this is byte count then data we will not initialize so we pass pulse for data gl bit field flag this part is very important we need to use gl dynamic storage bit so we use a special bit flag gl dynamic storage bit now let me repeat my buffer song once again 
Create Puppers Named Buffer Stories Find Buffer to its target GL Find Buffer Our target is GL Array Buffer This vertex buffer object it means we are going to use VBO, Vertex Buffer Object, to hold Vertex Attribute Arrays, so Array Buffer. But here we haven't initialized this buffer. We allocated memory to hold Vertex position and vertex color, but not yet initialized. So we need to initialize vertex buffer object with a vertex position, then vertex color. We use named buffer subdata gl named buffer subdata the pulse is buffer this vertex buffer object the second is offset this is offset comma here then size size will be size of we are initializing vertex position this is size then data vertex position data we initialized vertex buffer object with vertex position. We need to initialize once again. Now, after initializing vertex buffer position, we have to initialize vertex buffer color. So, this is our new offset to initialize vertex buffer color okay it means we initialize or append vertex colors to the end of vertex buffer object so we need this offset we initialize with the vertex colors like this we use named buffer subdata to use named buffer subdata we have to specify gl dynamic storage bit in the named buffer storage. Now let me sing buffer song once again for you. Create buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. Once again, create the buffers named buffer storage. Find the buffer to its target. We used VBO, vertex buffer object. We created two buffers. Now we will consume element buffer object. Now scroll down. Here we use 
buffer song once again. gl create buffers. We create one this element buffer object. Create buffers named buffer storage. gl named buffer storage. We pass buffer. Now we use element buffer object. Then size. This size is size of we are going to initialize vertex indices. So vertex indices. This is byte count. Then data. Data. Then bit flag. We initialized our buffer. So we can simply pass zero in this case. Okay, please compare named buffer storage. We passed pointer. Then we can pass zero for bit flag. In this case, we passed null for pointer. Then we passed gl dynamic storage bit. We need gl dynamic storage bit. We need gl dynamic storage bit. If we are going to use this function named buffer subdata. Okay. Don't forget this fact. Now scroll down. Create buffers named buffer stories. Bind the buffer to its target. GL find the buffer. Now our target is GL element array buffer. This element buffer object. So create buffers named buffer stories bind the buffer to its target. Now don't forget vertex attribute pointer. Here vertex song continues. GL vertex attribute pointer. Okay, this it says index. We are setting position. So position index size. This size means vertex positions element count of each vertex. Each vertex is composed of four elements. One, two, three, four. Four elements. So we provide four. Then GL enumeration type because our vertex positions are of type GL plot. So it should be GL plot. Then normalized. We pass GL pulse. Then stride. Stride is zero. This is offset. This GL void pointer, this is offset. We simply pass zero. Please note that we have one attribute, two attribute, vertex attribute pointer. We need one more copy 
twist. Now this is color index. Color index we are going to specify vertex color format. It has four elements. Each color has four elements. So four plot pulse stride. Now this is the problematic part. This offset from this buffer vertex object pointer we initialized vertex position then we initialized vertex color this is the offset okay scroll down this is offset it should be of a pointer type gl void pointer type like this now let me sing for you once again create a vertex array find the vertex array Enable vertex at trip array. Vertex at trip pointer because we have two vertex at trip pointer. Position and the color. We use vertex at trip pointer twice. Because we use two buffer create buffers name the buffer storage bind the buffer to its target create buffers name the buffer storage bind the buffer to its target if you remember buffer song and the vertex song you can never fail to learn OpenGL programming. Now we have to enable GL enable GL primitive restart. We are using primitive restart. So we need GL primitive restart index. Our primitive restart index is scroll up in the vertex index. We use this primitive restart index. One primitive triangle straight, two primitive triangle straight. In between, we restart our primitive. So our primitive restart index is this value. We have to inform OpenGL our primitive restart index value. Then GL front face GL counterclockwise. This is default. We don't need to specify this because this is default, but I will specify it anyway. In some case, we can specify GL clockwise. So, GL count clockwise. GL enable. We can use backpace curling. GL curl face. About these things, I will discuss further in future episode. Now, press Ctrl. F7 to build. Okay, it built successfully.